Rice is nice. It is delicious. It cooks faster and feeds large groups well. Rice consumption is increasing as its demand outstrips that of wheat and maize. Over 80% of the rice grown in Kenya is grown in rice paddies. But rice grown in flooded paddies uses too much water and has low yields. The system of rice intensification is a set of practices which uses less water and increases yields. SRI is not a type of rice. It is a method. System of rice intensification has seven basic components. Prepare a dry nursery. Transplant younger seedlings. Plant only one seedling. Transplant at wider spacing in a square pattern. Intermittent wetting and drying of paddy, mechanical weeding, and use of organic manures. This is done as follows. The paddy field is first soaked for at least five days. The field is ploughed to break the soil crust. The field is then harrowed. If possible, carbonated husks are prepared using a special kiln to enrich the nursery bed, as explained by Mr. Muya. You make sure that you cover every hole. If you cover, you can add even up to this much, depending with the amount of the husk that you have. So, if you make a Jamaica, you start seeing the black or the brown color which starts appearing from the top so after this unatoa hii kitu yako ba hii kitu unatoa alafu unatumia the shovel jiko kubwa na maji na water can kuchoma kuvima hiyo moto na this one is the one we are going to use to demonstrate how we kiweka kwa shamba Ina decompose haraka, atene natumika kama manure. So this is what we are expecting. The nursery bed is then prepared. Pre-germinated seeds are then spread over the nursery bed. Like this, and then you moist. This will help because the, the major challenge which has been there is plucking of the young seedlings about 8 to 10 days. So when you lace them in a carbonized husk like this, <coughs> it will be very easy for you to pluck them without destroying the roots and if, even the, the destroying the roots or the, 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 the seeds on the crop. At 8 to 12 days old, SRI seedlings are ready for transplanting. Under the conventional system, seedlings are transplanted when they are 21 to 30 days old and in clumps of 3 to 5 seedlings per hole. Under SRI, transplanting is done at wider spacing. Under conventional paddy, weeding is by hand, which is tiresome. 
but under SRI, weeding is done using a mechanical weeder and is more efficient. In conventional systems, the paddy field is flooded throughout the growing season. But under SRI, alternate wetting and drying of the paddy field is practiced. Two weeks before harvesting, the paddy is drained to dry out before harvesting. System of rice intensification has many advantages. In the field, it shows superior crop performance. This is a paddy field of rice grown through the SRI method. Those who know about rice may tell you that these uh, grains, they are called panicles. They are more full. They tell you what, what you call productive tillers. Uh, rice has tillers, which are those blades which go up. Each tiller produces some rice, but under SRI, the productive tillers are more. It also increases rice yields what of paddy rice. farmers to adopt this system is actually due to the high production of the crop and the good quality of the production. This SRI, we have seen farmers improving their production even up to 50%. SRI produced better quality grain as explained SRI, by Rice know, Millers. The rice which is here now, the one that we have here, is better than the other. One, it is clean, it is well polished, it has long grains and it is heavier. So when the farmer is selling, he's up because one panel bag of the SR, SRI variety uh, is weighing about 100, 100 kgs, while the other traditional one is about 90 kgs. It also saves on the cost of labor. So we have found SRI from the seed or transplanting to harvesting, it is very economical. Research and capacity building for SRI has been implemented. The system of rice intensification SRI was started in Kenya as a project in 2009. On research, so far we have uh, built the capacity of four masters level and one PhD through SRI, who have done SRI work. Uh, some of the more interesting outputs of that SRI is uh, first proving that SRI actually does increase yields and save water uh, through the research done. Another one is we tested the, the effect of SRI on malaria, more specifically on mosquito breeding. And we conclusively found that because of the wetting and drying the paddy, SRI uh, reduces mosquito survival. It actually eliminates completely the mosquito larva once the paddy has been dried for more than two days. We have implemented very many field days for farmers. We develop an SMS message which tells people about SRI, particularly farmers, and send it to very many farmers. And another innovative way was to use video conferencing. Farmers appreciate the many benefits of adopting SRI. Kama nilikuja kwa SRI last year, iko samba yangu moja nilipatia mimi 35 samba yangu moja nilipatia 30 so the the one who did the 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 wisest was 25 so nilikuta kama hii system ya SRI ni msuri kusinda anything the national irrigation board nib also supports SRI as the general manager explains with view SRI, which has been adopted in other countries, as one of the best methods of reducing the water used and producing more. We intend that all farmers in the next about five years, which is in the media in the near future, should have adopted the SRI. This will reduce the amount of water and therefore make it available to other farmers for use in other ways.